The World Football Governing Body FIFA has banned former top South African official Lindile Kika for six years for his role in a major match-fixing scandal with Asian betting syndicates before South Africa hosted the 2010 World Cup. Kika, the former S South African Football Association Director of National Teams, was one of five officials named in a FIFA report on match-fixing. FIFA's Ethics Committee's adjudicatory said it had banned Kika from all football-related activities at national and international level for six years. FIFA found the results of warm-up matches against Thailand, Bulgaria, Colombia and Guatemala were fixed. Other South African football officials implicated in the report have, however, not been sanctioned by FIFA. And we can now cross live to CCTV CS Duplessis in Johannesburg for more on this. CS, uh, what a development there for South Africa. What does the ban, though, mean in the ongoing FIFA probe on the 2010 World Cup corruption probe? Well, unfortunately, it's like when you put a plaster on a saw and you rip the plaster off. It's opened up that wound again and reminded South Africans that there is still this ongoing probe into corruption and bribery regarding the 2010 World Cup. SAFA, the South African Football Association, they've issued a statement saying that they welcome the decision of the FIFA Ethics Committee and in particular point out that Mr. Kika is no longer in their employ and they will continue to assist FIFA in trying to get to the bottom of the corruption and bribery scandal. Well, TS, have other South African Football Association officials, though, been sanctioned or accused alongside uh, Mr. Kika for the said match fixing? We're hearing reports that uh, there are three others that have been linked and possibly even questioned by the FIFA Ethics Committee. Adele Carl, Sir Stephen Goddard and of course the former CEO Leslie Sidibe. They have apparently been spoken to or questioned but uh, that's all we know at this stage and that they have been linked. But uh, the, the general feeling is that there's more to come on the story. Well, do clarify this for us, if you can, though. We are receiving reports that South Africa engaged jail, jailed match broker Wilson Peruman in the shoddy deals. Were other African countries, though, affected by match fixing involving this particular agent? Well, we've heard now reports that in January 2010, there were two matches played by Zimbabwe and two matches played by Namibia, where there were sort of dubious officials involved in the match. We're waiting on confirmation of that, but we know that the former Namibian coach basically said he felt that it was a bit uneasy going into the clash and that he saw Perimum in the hotel before the clash. So we know that those two nations have been affected in some way back in 2010 with these allegations of match fixing. All right, uh, CS Duplessis for us there in Johannesburg. Thank you.